Hey guys, welcome back. So this is going to be part two on this Steiner 430 Max 4x4 articulating tractor, similar to your Ventrax. And so um, in the first video, we uh, picked this thing up. Well, we actually, it's kind of like a third video. We uh, found this thing at a junkyard and it was sitting in the weeds for many, many years. And uh, we pulled it out of there and got it running. And uh, so if you haven't seen that video, uh, I'll link it in the description so you can check that out. But in this video, we're gonna work on the mower uh, deck here. And um, also, I think we're having some pump issues. or uh, hearing a little bit of noise in the pump right here. So I think we're gonna take that apart and, um, and check it out. So a lot of people in the first video left comments about that I should paint this thing and uh, restore it, which I am gonna do. That's gonna, it's not gonna be in this video, but that's gonna be in a separate video. I'm gonna take this thing completely apart and I'm gonna fully restore it. I just wanna, before I do that, I wanna make sure that uh, it's in good running condition. So um, on this deck, there's a couple things going on with it. This is bent very badly. And it barely turns looks like they hit something and something is locked up on it and uh these things aren't spinning i also need some parts uh there's a double pulley right there and some parts that hold this hood up so i'm gonna try and source some of those yeah in the meantime let's uh let's go ahead and get started So this is the main drive pulley right here that connects the engine and as you can see this thing is not moving I mean you can see a little bit of movement in the belt I'm not sure which one of these is keeping it from moving all right let's try and get this belt loosened up Goodness. this thing is seized like stuck to these pulleys all right so that one's kind of that's probably our issue right here because that it's moving but it's like stuck these, all these belts are just like stuck to these pulleys from sitting so long Spindles kind of stuck too. Yeah, this one's pretty free right here. So you can just really tell this thing's been sitting a long time. All these belts are just like frozen in their their shape here. Like it doesn't even want to bend straight. It's supposed to go right back. The main drive belt is also toast. It's just completely cracked. So it looks like our anti-scalping roller. Looks like the bearings have been better days. I mean, it's kind of tight, but I think it's starting to free up a little bit. Yeah, let's try to get some grease down in there. Just gonna keep pumping these full of grease and uh, working with it. Much better. 
Got them all freed up. I was able to get this one. That one's nice and free. But this one's not cooperating. Alright, so I got this grease needle that goes on the end of my grease gun here. I'm going to try get right in here on the lip of the seal and try and pump that full of grease. Just don't want to damage the seal. thing free see it moving but it's just stopping right there I'm gonna keep working with it all right I got more movement out of it bearing actually feels really tight I uh, went ahead and squirted some more grease in it. I got it packed all the way around it, so. All right, everything's greased and put back together and rolling good. Also, these arms were pretty badly out of alignment and I straightened them up nicely, so. So before we can test the motor out, we have to fix all this stuff going on right here. It's kind of hard to see, but right in here, there's a spring and that spring is just all broken damage you see it's not even connected there I got a pulley here and some new springs let's get started putting those on all right got some parts in from mystics some springs washers this is that double idler pulley so this double idler pulley mounts up like this but one of the parts that are missing is a shield that actually goes around it and that keeps the belt on this pulley for when it, the PTO is not in use um, to keep it from coming off. So I think we'll go ahead and just make one. Alright guys, we got our piece laid out and uh, we're going to go ahead and try our plasma cutter made by Vivor and uh, this is a Cut 50. They uh, It can actually run off a 220 or they send you this little plug here to run off 120 or whatever you got. So uh, yeah, they sent me this to try out, see what I think about it and uh, so far I like it. So let's give it a shot and uh, try it out. They send you a bunch of tips and all kinds of stuff with it too. So um, right now I'm cutting with 220. This is our thickness right here. Here's one cut I already did, which I mean, it's pretty, uh, pretty straight. As you can see, I mean, that is real time speed here. And it does a really good job, really clean cut. So I'm pretty impressed. And I'll uh, leave a link and a coupon code in the description for this thing. But uh, all right, let's go ahead and get this circular one cut out. That one's gonna be a little bit more tricky. Check out that cut though. That's pretty nice. I mean, very, very low amount of slag.
piece all finished up. Made a little piece right here to rest on the back so it don't move. As you can see, the spring fell off in a bunch of different pieces. The shaft is kind of messed up right here too. So the other bar wasn't really in bad shape, but I just took some round stock and bent it up. And uh, it's actually got a plating on it too. Good as new. Alright. Alright, finally got this thing all finished up. I was having a little bit of trouble because this idler pulley was actually on this side of the belt when I got it, and that's how I thought it came but it was just binding up and, and not working correctly so i figured to switch it on this side and this is the correct way it's supposed to go on that side so now everything seems to work and line up like it should go ahead and flip the pto switch here and as you can see it just goes in like it's supposed to and releases Crazy bent. And those threads are really messed up. I'd have to say that is much, much better. Could do that, no problem.
that was actually pretty impressive i mean that's some pretty thick metal and uh it cut through it no problem all right let's get these all cleaned up and see if we can uh heat these up and put them in the press and bend it back and get it all welded back it's gonna be really tough to bend this metal that's pretty thick Got our, all our parts cleaned up. I tried to straighten this out the best I could, but in all reality, I probably should have just made a whole new one. All right, let's get this welded up. All right, guys, there we go. It's not the prettiest, but it will definitely hold. Not too shabby. So, this anti-scout roller, as you can see, is completely shot. So I did pick up some new uh, flange block bearings. So let's get those installed. So these bolts are just completely rounded off down here on the bottom. So looks like we're gonna have to cut them off. One side, bearings falling out. All right, those bearings were toast. This is what you're looking for FB 160 by one inch. That's the uh, diameter right here. However, the old uh, bearing race is stuck on there pretty good. Up. all right guys so now that we got the mower deck finished up and working good it's time to tear into this guy and see what's going on and making the noise in the hydraulic pump but before we do that i want to give a huge shout out to ben over at brunt workwear he sent me a pair of pants and a new pair of these bulldog boots and uh, these are the martin pants and i really like them they have a reinforcement here for a pocket knife or a tape measure a bunch of pockets and uh they're super comfortable along with the boots so ben i uh really appreciate that i'll put a link in the description if anybody's interested all right let's go ahead and dig into this guy and see what's wrong with the pump all right, let's start by taking this hood off. Thank you. 
All right, guys, so I'm just testing the pump here. I'm gonna move the steering. Hear that? It doesn't seem to do it this way at all. It's really hard to determine where the noise is coming from, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and start on the steering orbital valve. I did go ahead and mark these, by the way, so. These caps in here. Here's our first part. little allen bolts all the way around it so it looks like we have some ingress of water or grease so I'll have to get all that cleaned out got a thrust bearing here it looks to be in decent condition though Looks like our steering orbital valve is looks like it's good except for some ingress of crap coming in from the steering shaft but uh, other than that maybe a little bit wobble on that bearing in there I'll check that out but other than that it looks good so looks like we have to dig into the pump so here's the steering shaft and as you can tell it's got all right, I got some brake parts cleaner and some hydraulic fluid here. Let's go ahead and get all these parts cleaned up. Get them back installed. Okay, so I finally got this thing back together and it was a real pain at the end trying to get these springs put in and this thing closed down on it. So uh, I had to put it on the vise. I'm just going to fill these ports up with some uh, the hydraulic fluid here just so everything is really lubed up. So 
it was the same better days. Good lord, look at that. How did that not bust? Goodness. <laughs> Check that thing out. That's one of the worst hoses I've ever seen. See this hose somebody added and they had it wrapped right around here instead of going through the middle of the machine. So even though this hose is in still pretty good shape, it's gonna need to be replaced. Good lord that thing's on there. Man, I don't wanna break this thing off. Those things are on there. Check that out. That why I didn't want to break free. Let's try and get this thing pulled through here. Condition of that hose right there. Man, <laughs> that hose is completely toast. All right, let's go ahead and get this pump taken off. So I got this uh, pump cleaned off best I could. Looking good so far. Everything's looking good. So just the machining on all this is absolutely beautiful. I mean, everything so far looks really good. So the only thing I can think is maybe one of the check valves. Just the tolerances and fit on these. It's just absolutely amazing. It's just so satisfying. <laughs> so when I looked at the parts diagram, I was thinking it was going to be this needle bearing, but it seems to be fine. So I'm going to do a little bit more digging and we'll see. So I just can't find anything wrong with this pump. I mean, everything just looks perfect on it. Everything's smooth. There's no grooves. All right, let's take the front of this pump off. Nothing is really jumping out at me. I was thinking it might have been this needle bearing. That thing is perfect. I'm not seeing one thing wrong with this pump. There's no wear on it. Nothing. Don't see anything wrong with that either. So I ordered some new gaskets and seals for these uh, pumps and also the steering orbital valve. So while I'm waiting for those to come in, let's go ahead and get some of these hydraulic lines uh, covered. I picked up some of this sleeve that goes around them. So let's go ahead and cover up some of these guys.
So I got some new uh, half inch lines here. This is a gator hose. These are pretty good upgrade to what was on there. And so what I'm doing is I'm wrapping these hoses with the uh, cover and I'm using electrical tape and then uh, putting clear heat shrink tubing over that. So we got all our lines covered, got the steering lines also covered. So one thing that I've noticed is there's no grease irks on these pivots here. On the newer links that they sell now, the replacements, they have a grease irk uh, drilled in those. I think I'm going to try and pull those off and put a grease irk on them. So as you can see on this bar, these uh, joints have a little bit of play in them. That could have all been prevented with uh, a grease irk. A new bar is about a hundred bucks. When I do restore this, I might just buy a new one. Or I might cut these off and put a, a new like Heim joint end on it. So. Okay guys, I put those ends done. Also went ahead and added one on my hydraulic steering and before this one gets wore out, keep that one greased. Okay, so I got some uh, new gaskets and seals in from Messix. So let's go ahead and take this apart and get it all replaced with the correct gaskets and seals.
So this speedometer gauge has got a broken tab right there. So I just made this aluminum bracket here. Just bolt that on there. And that should uh that should hold that pretty good. Also went ahead and put some uh, heat shrink tubing on it just so it doesn't touch any of the contacts on here. Went ahead and got a new uh, valve cover seal here because uh, it's been leaking around here. So let's go ahead and get that replaced. simple so before we go ahead and start putting the hood and covers on went in and picked up some new uh, PTO belts uh, one for the main and one for the implement there is the belt So I'm thinking the belt that they had on here wasn't the right one because it's supposed to have a 5 8 belt which is a 42 inch belt and the new one looks a little bit longer. Alright so we're going to put a little bit of anti-seize on here. Alright let's get this thing in here. Alright we are good to go. This hood back on. So, one thing that I am missing is the cover that goes around this whole front of the machine. And uh, I've been trying to find one, I haven't been able to. And it supports this whole front of the hood. I do have some flat plate here and it's actually like the perfect height so let's go ahead and cut this up and see if we can make one so now we just gotta make one more of these for the other side. a whole lot easier than grinding it and it's awesome that is actually a very nice cut and get that thing fully welded now.
guys that turned out pretty dang good so I'm just gonna leave it this primer uh, color for now and the reason why is because I plan on painting this entire machine when I uh, restore it but yeah that's pretty solid too it really strengthened it up so I think this thing is ready to mow so let's get it hooked up and go cut some grass with it All right, guys let's crank this thing up and see what happens Alright guys, we got the mower deck all greased up and got the new belts on it. Everything's good to go. So let's go ahead and uh, hook it up.
so I'd have to say so far this thing is doing amazingly well actually it hit this rock and busted it into a bunch of pieces and didn't even phase it so check the blades they're not bent or anything I'd say that's a pretty tough machine there so I'm not seeing any kind of hydraulic leaks or oil leaks or anything all the hoses seem to be doing really well it's kind of hard to see but um the temperature is staying like right at 180 so that's good too Well, I would have to say this thing is awesome. Man, uh, yeah, what a transformation. This thing is pretty sweet. So I still got a couple little areas I gotta hit. There's actually a bunch of rocks in here, so uh, I gotta clear some rocks before I can finish up. But man, this thing performed flawlessly. The only thing that I would say I probably need to sharpen these blades on here because you can see, I mean, they're not super dull, but it's getting time for some new ones. But uh, I 
hit some pretty big rocks in there i think one or two huge rocks and it just like spit them out no problem but anyway uh yeah let's uh go try this thing on uh some steep hills i mean that's what it's made for what are you guys doing huh what are, what are you doing you don't live here you guys playing huh you guys playing <laughs> so we got a pretty steep hill right here and i mean on camera it doesn't look steep at all but this thing is definitely i mean it's it's almost like straight up so let's see what it can do Well, I'm not gonna lie, that is pretty impressive. Trying to get the depth on camera, but it's just, it's impossible. I mean, to see how steep something really is. I mean, it's, it's like a complete drop off right here. But anyway, I guess this is gonna do it for this video. So I appreciate you guys hanging out with me on this video and working on this old Steiner 430 Max four-wheel drive tractor. All right, I will see you guys on the next video. Y'all take care. Later.